so the thing about it is so o'reilly's the place that you know you can get batteries from and everything they said they will not touch it on this car i could buy the battery there but they won't put it in but on the um on the bins they are saying i can buy a battery from them but they won't put it in so i either have to take it to the dealer but some people are telling me they could put it in but often hear about you got a factory reset on these cars so if anyone knows about that let me know in the comments because they're saying they won't touch it but the guy that came and gave us a jump he was like oh sure you don't need to reset nothing just um yeah he'll charge like half of what the dealer charged for the battery he'll put it in for us and he won't even charge that much basically half of so the dealer was roughly like five something he said around 280 or something like that but I did talk to a mechanic and he said we didn't need to do no kind of reset, no nothing. But I'm still curious to why O'Reilly said they won't touch it. I guess the Benzes are just that much more complicated. All right, y'all. As y'all know, I'm pressing lock and pressing unlock and nothing. So I'm going to show y'all what happens when you let the car sit. You know, it's been about a month. We let it sit. You know, they used to say put the old Bentleys on the battery tender because those Bentleys be draining the battery real fast. So don't think that it's sometimes a key fob problem, like, oh, let me just get a key fob. So you should know, like even the window has stopped right there. But this is how you would know the battery is still working on your key fob because I'm pressing it. I don't know if y'all can see that light lighting up, but that means the key, your key fob is good. So I'm gonna show y'all what happened. So, you know, we did let it sit, you know, for like a month so i'm just here to tell you you know you got to drive these things or your battery will go out now what we don't know is if we would need a new battery or we could just go charge it you know get a jump and go charge it and the battery should be good but stay tuned i'm gonna show y'all where the battery is even at just in case you want to do it yourself but foot on the brake let's see what happens nothing it's like not even reacting nothing so this is a battery related issue you know the car did it sit for a long it did sit for a long time all right and for anyone who don't know you know to open the trunk or the hood i mean excuse me the latch has always been down here it's under here you just pull it towards you that'll pop the hood open like so and then the little lever switch is right here. It's right next to the logo. Going that way, it's right there. It's right under right there. Now you might be looking and wondering like, hey, where is the battery located? Cause at first I didn't even know where the battery located, but when this happened, I had to figure it out. So your battery is actually right under here. It actually tells you there is the battery it's just has a cover on it you know you would need the proper tools you know to get this off and get to your battery and so if y'all remember i am not handy at all i don't work on cars at all and even i can get in here you know pry this off you know it's fairly easy it nor it sits like that it sits on top of the thing and it's held down by the two things and then once this comes off you just pull this off and there you go that's your battery location first part now doing the job you will need a couple of tools um not sure what yet but yeah and then you could just pull it out so not sure so first we're gonna see if we're gonna take it once so they're gonna come and give it a jump and we're gonna take it to like o'reilly to see the battery life do we need a new battery or is it need recharging and savable but there it is you know just put the stuff back on top it's very easy it's very easy to put you know everything back in place very simple so you know there's your battery right there battery icon so let's wait till they get here and see what's up and what's going on with this car so that's the thing so normally so when you pop this open this is going to be pried in right here by these two so when you see this once you finally get this off 
by those pins uh, you kind of can sit it right here it's almost like you're using it yourself and then yeah you just pry this off the top of that so sometimes you may lift this up and look and be like i still don't see the battery yeah they hit it well with this it's in here so you see your fan and another thing once you pry this off you can actually see your and take a look at your filter this one's a little bit dirty you might have to change it it's not too bad but it could use a change all right now we got it started but guess what the light there's nothing on so we wouldn't even tell if we took it out of park or drive but yes the driver did confirm the battery is bad he said he could do it i'm probably i'm probably pretty much sure it'd be cheaper than what the dealer would charge but i am hearing there is some kind of um restore code or something that they will have to do to the car when the dealers do it all right y'all so the verdict is in they are saying yes it is a bad battery and that it needs to be replaced so what we are thinking now we don't know should we spend the 280 and just let someone come put it in you know an aftermarket battery and be good like the mechanic said or take it to the dealer what the o'reilly suggested because they will not touch this thing so that's crazy y'all so y'all gotta beware on these batteries that you know when we buy these mercedes that a lot of these dealers won't i mean not dealers a lot of these aftermarket places won't touch it but people that come give it a jump you know that work with triple a and all that they will indeed do it for us they'll do it for us but i'm just curious what's the best move on a mercedes you know you go to the dealer you get that oem battery you go aftermarket you get a different battery but will it reset the inside and just have a shorter life i'm willing to do that you know if anyone knows but that's the thing on these batteries that's the reality of it so even on a C-Class, C300, 2017, there you have it. Um, no place won't do it for you. It's a dealer option only. Well, unless you take it to a, a place that specializes in Mercedes. But guess what? The place we normally go to to get everything cheaper, they charge more than, <laughs> excuse all the birds, it's early morning. But they charge more than what the dealer said. The dealer said like 518. The place I normally go to said 536. So that's crazy. It's something to keep in mind, y'all, when we buying these Mercedes that this is the reality. But y'all let me know in the comments, should I take the route of aftermarket, letting the guy come do it for 280 and worry about if we need a factory reset or just have it towed to the dealer and just get the OEM battery. So y'all let me know in the comments. Signing off, Ben's man.